Hey, it's Tim from the Hair Curler Chronicles, and in this video, you're going to see Nancy and I have a debriefing about the series that we did with Tim Perry. You're really going to want to see it because it was some interesting stuff that we're going to recap. Remember to hit the smash the like button and subscribe to the channel and hit the little bell and enjoy. I'll come back at the end for a quick recap. Talk soon. Good evening. Welcome to the Hair Curler Chronicles. It's Tim and Nancy Danter, and we're still not together. <laughs> You're no longer in the garden shed, though. I'm still at the cottage. Long day. Still, still crafting, 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 but we're getting to near the end. So, uh, so now it's about uh, staging and pricing and all that good fun stuff. But that's not what we're talking about tonight. So, um, so because part of the challenge is the making of the money and I'm trying to do that is uh, on my spare time. Um, so what I wanted to talk about with you specifically, Tim, was how mind blowing our conversation with Tim Perry was again yesterday. Like I, I, I had an aha moment. Um, uh -huh. I had an aha moment last night about it. And I, and I sort of, do you want to hear my aha moment or do you want to tell me how you felt about the conversation? No, you, you first, ladies first. Okay. So when there was something clicked for me in the conversation about when he started talking about the altcoins and how they were built on the Ethereum network, We've heard that before. We've heard it multiple times before, but what really clicked for me was the, um, the idea that, and, and people have said this also about Ethereum as well, that Ethereum is the next generation of internet. And I couldn't understand that exactly. I was like, what does that mean exactly? But now after that conversation with him yesterday, it's like, I, I get that Ethereum is the platform that everybody's building everything on behind the scenes. Like all of a sudden in the next five, 10 years, everything that's normal, that will be normal is being built now on the Ethereum network. Like kind of like the early days of the internet when, you know, you first saw early people out putting funky little websites and stuff up but there was other people behind the scenes building infrastructure. We just, as the normies, we didn't, we didn't know what that was. We didn't even know they were doing those things. And I kind of feel like that was, that was one of my aha moments. And do you remember, do you remember when, I can't remember what year it was, but for Christmas, I bought you those pictures that looked like a whole pile of squiggly lines. You had them in your office for a long time and you had to stand there and you had to cross your eyes over and you had to look at the picture in such a way and all of a sudden uh an image would appear yeah, that's what i felt like last night i felt like all of a sudden when you were staring at those pictures and everybody could say oh i see an elephant or oh you can't believe the the the, the beautiful building that's in the back oh it's a field of flowers or whatever the heck it was and you'd stand there and you'd look and look and look and you couldn't see the darn thing. But then all of a sudden when you could see it, it was like, <gasps> and, and so that's how it felt last night when I finally kind of connected the, 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 the thought process that Ethereum is like internet 2.0, that and, and how all these altcoins and especially the ones that we really, really, really wanna be paying attention to are utilities that are being built in the background right now. I, I had like aha moments last night. Yeah, it's, it is, it's very intriguing to, to, we would never have ever thought about this. It would have been a headline in the news and it all started from dipping our toe into Bitcoin. And then me uh, later 2020, catching a little bit more of the bug on the Ethereum than you. You were always steadfast with your Bitcoin. And I am, don't get me wrong, I'm steadfast with Bitcoin as well. I'm here for the ups, I'm here for the downs. Um, it's, but the, the Ethereum, the more that, you know, you started to understand it and the more we start to understand it now in 2021, at the beginning of 2021, <laughs> and see the applications and see what purpose it serves and the difference between it and Bitcoin, because they are two totally different things, it's like, 
yeah, maybe this is the uh, the next generation of what everything is going to use as a foundation or something like Ethereum. But Ethereum, as I said in, in our comments to, to Tim, they're all going to play in the same sandbox. Ethereum is not going to go away. Sorry, no, I, I agree. It's not going to go away. And, um, and I, I think there's certainly issues with it like as we talked about with the gas fees and we talked about how slow it is and all that sort of stuff. But there was issues with the internet when it first came out. Like, I, I don't even remember. I remember feeling weird about using PayPal. Like, I don't know if I really want somebody to have my credit card information or my banking information. I felt weird about it. I'm not a historian. I, I, I you know me, I don't read a lot. I watch a lot. I'm a very, you know, visual learner and stuff. But, you know, I, I think I'd be bold enough to say what, what product service or, or displacer, uh, disruptor, is the first out of the gate and doesn't have something wrong with it that they fix? They're the first out of the gate. They're the ones figuring it all out. Yeah. And, uh, and, and the more they figure it out and the more they have competition, the more they figure out. Yeah, I agree. So I, I don't know, like I'm, I'm really, really, really excited. And, um, and I really want to, I really think that I want to dip my toe into and try to go after the top five picks that he said for those altcoins. Um, some of them were interesting because they were just pennies and um, some were more, were more expensive, but I liked how he, I liked, I, I've got, I got to get my purple book of ideas. I was writing so many notes. <laughs> I was writing so many notes yesterday. I liked how he talked about um, the tokenomics. I think you need to put that in your terms of the day, tokenomics, because it makes a difference when you're evaluating those altcoins as to how many tokens there actually is. So if it's a penny stock, but there's thousands, hundreds of thousands of tokens, it's going to take a lot to move the mark on the price on that versus um, versus less tokens. Doesn't take as much to move the mark on that. So I liked the, I liked his terminology with tokenomics. I thought that was really cool, and um, and I I liked that he gave us some that were sort of sleeper coins, and some that were um, forks of Bitcoin. And um, some were blue chip because he said the Ave was a blue chip. And the other thing that really intrigued me and I'm, I'm very interested in getting, getting involved in is I want to dip my toe in those LP tokens. So I think, yeah. And I think, you know, we, we, we can't let this turn into a FOMO for ourselves. We have no. to be smart about it. Uh, we, we're sort of at the beginning of the curve as we were with Bitcoin. So we must, we must adopt that mentality that we did with Bitcoin and that is dollar cost average in. The difference is here is that we've got a handful of things versus the singular of Bitcoin when we first started with Bitcoin. So, you know, we, we have to find the money somewhere and we have to shift some things around in the portfolio a bit uh, in order to do this, because um, I think that's that's discipline. That's the discipline, and this is where we will take the counsel and we'll take the advice from Tim, 100% all day long. But we have to have the discipline and not think of FOMO that we're missing out and just you know we got to. But it sounds like you have to you. It sounds like you have to buy it using Ethereum. So you have a bunch of Ethereum, so you can use some of your Ethereum. What you talking about? I know you have Ethereum, so you can use yeah, some no, of that. Yeah. You can use some of that Ethereum to buy some of these tokens. So, um, so I and and the Union Finance one sounds like we need to move on that one quickly, only because that one sounds like what I liked his explanation of how he how he evaluates these things. Where there's 25 programmers working on that one, and that one's about to launch. So I think. We want to get in on that one as ASAP. So, 
Yeah, I mean, uh, we'll we'll go in on that. I opened up a MetaMask account last night, and uh, oh my god, it is like nothing I have experienced. It has twelve words that are your are your. Well, I'm going to butcher this, but every time you want to go in and do something to withdraw or whatever the case is, or or use it, you see, I'm still new with it. It gives you scrambled 12 words that you were given when you initially registered your MetaMask account. You got to get them in order. If you lose those, you can't retrieve them. You're pooched. So, I, yeah, so I, <laughs> I've made copies and I've got them. When I get home, you tell me, I'll put it in the purple book of ideas. God help me if I get dementia or Alzheimer's and I forget where they no, are. No, 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 you're going to give it to me and I'm going to put it in a purple book of ideas. Now I've just told everybody where I'm putting my coins, didn't I? Oh my God. Oh my God. I guess I can't put it in Purple Book of Ideas. <laughs> Nit. Well, nobody knows where I keep my Purple Book of Ideas. Oh, and a burglar doesn't know where you keep your jewelry, but they find that. Anyways, I, so do, were you, I, you know, the other thing I like that he said, it, and this goes back to you having to figure out how to, to use your Twitter account, that he goes on to that uh, dollar sign and then the, uh, and then the uh, symbol. Yeah, crypto Twitter, and then yeah. you put the, hat, like the hat number sign and then I the symbol. I more hours in the day now because, I mean, I'm, this, is, this is all encompassing. I mean, it's, this is. You need more hours in the day? I, I'm like. I have to get up. I have to make thumbnails. I've got to figure out how to get all the tag words for the YouTube <laughs> videos. Here, I got to paint here, stuff here, and I got to get my glue gun going. I got to do it in between everything else I'm doing and, and running a team. You're right, you win. It's not about winning. It's not about winning. You're doing it too. I did poke around with uh... Not Pokeru, but Pokeru poked around with um, uh, the MetaMask account and our um, BitBuy and Uniswap. It looks re it, and and he when he said it was easy to use, it is easy to use. Okay, it's really new, but I've I, I've got to have more training on it because my God, he's got what the hell does he call it? Um, it's almost when you go to to do a transaction what's he call it the slide and if you don't put the slide high enough you uh you can lose your transaction fee or something like that yeah i mean <clears throat> i was thinking that it's mart it was march 1st yesterday and that means it was two months since we started the challenge and you think about how different how different how much we've grown how much we've changed in two months and what we've learned you know we've had and now we've had new teachers come into our into our life like as much as it's a challenge going head to head with ryan now he's taught us a lot of stuff about how to do youtube differently look at all of that diy stuff that i've been figuring out and learning about and that was that's good we're learning all of those things too um, now we've got a little source of income that we're, we're creating the income to fund with. So in two months, if you look at it, we've done a lot of stuff as, a, as, as on the side. Yep. I'm proud of us. I'm proud of you. Oh, I'm proud of you, honey. Well, you know what we've got now, as Tim Perry told us last night, we have hopium. Hopium. Put that, I love that. in your pipe and hopium. I, we have hopium. We have Hopium. I still think we've got the faster horse because we're going to figure out these altcoins and we're going to get in that game with the profits that I'm making from selling the crafts. And we are going to, we're going to have, uh, I think we're going to have big profits. That's what I'm hoping on. What? I know. He bought himself what? twenty dollars. He bought himself twenty dollars worth of Bitcoin, oh, and so oh, I wrote him a little oh, note man. on the panel, and I said, "Oh, I feel, I feel like." 
our, we've got our little protege. So he may change. Here's the thing oh, that worries oh, me. Oh, 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 he may game. change. He may get the bug and he may come on to the dark side and come into the crypto world. You just never know. We have Tim Perry. We do have Tim Perry. And, uh, and so anyways, I just, I, I just thought, I, I, I felt we needed to do a little video to recap that conversation because man, I'm on, I'm excited about that. I'm seeing, I'm seeing the picture where the squiggly lines used to be and, yep. uh, and I'm feeling good about it. So uh, anyways, I thought I would just, we'd just recap. Hey everyone, so there you are. Quick recap by Nancy and I about uh, what we have learned and what our, I guess our sort of objective is moving forward with altcoins. We're not gonna dive into it feet first, but uh, we're gonna sort of go step by step into it. It was some really informative information that we got from the series from Tim Perry, and we'll, hope, we'll hopefully have him back. Uh, remember that uh, we are not professionally licensed or uh, anything like that. This is just strictly our opinions. And, uh, uh, you know, we, we just want to have a conversation for newbies and uh, people who are just kind of looking around on the YouTube network for uh, things and opinions and all that fun stuff. Anyway, thanks for tuning in and uh, we'll chat soon.